Bellator 249, live on CBS Sports Network from the Mohegan Sun Arena. We start things off with a heavyweight bout between Steve Mowry and Sean T. Goldie, Steve Mowry came out and started landing that knee. He did that four times in this fight, landing solid knees inside. The last one just rocked. Sean T, he tried to stop, saying, I don't want to hurt him anymore. Nope, got to go after it. The referee then stops the fight. That is a beautiful TKO win for Steve Bowery. He remains unbeaten as a professional. Next up, a bantamweight battle between Ricky Bandejas and the Brazilian Leandro Alter Ego. Well, it wasn't Alter Ego because it used to be Leandro Pitbull, and he said, I need to change my mentality. I need to keep my composure in the fight, and that's exactly what he did. He got on top of Ricky Bandejas. Took him over to his corner when he wanted, put him on the ground, and systematically just broke him down. He then locked in that figure four in the body, gets to the point where he crushes the jaw. The jaw crushes too much for Ricky. That is a big time submission win for Leandro Alter Ego. Ego with the win. Then Big John, our main event of the evening, Chris Cyborg, the champion, Arlene Blenko, the challenger. Goldie, what do you say about a fighter who has been so successful in their career and is only getting better? You saw everything from Chris Cyborg. She was beautiful in the stand-up, going to the body, going to the head, kicks to the body, and takes Arlene Blenko down at times. When she gets her to the ground, she grinds her with a big ground and pound attack, makes her turn her back, and then gets the first submission victory of her career with a rear naked choke. For the latest Bellator news and information, go to bellator.com. It's a dream matchup between two of the sport's best. Fighting for the vacant middleweight world title, welterweight champion Douglas Lima steps up to 185 to battle five-time world champ Gegard Mousasi. Live and free, October 29th on CBS Sports Network.